Well, hello guys. Welcome to the Dundas Junction Model Railway. I thought I'd do uh, another update. Just let you know where I, I is on the layout. Uh, I made a lot more progress since the last update. I have more track laid. Um, you can hear in the background there's a locomotive on the track and it's running. It will be running shortly. Um, I got my turntable installed. I still got a bit more work to do with that, but it's in and I got it running. I'll show you that. I'm working on my bridge. Uh, some details on that. Once I get the bridge done, I could have a loop going and actually running trains all the way around. Right now I'm just running point to point. But I got I can get to go further. So I'm gonna pause the camera, I'm gonna turn it around. And I'm gonna give you a tour and I'm gonna run this train and I'll show you the turntable and I'll show you what track I've done. I also got a, a package too I'll show you too I got that had a very um, interesting trip. But it's here now and I'll show you that too. So give me a few minutes I'm gonna pause and turn the camera around. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna turn it to the tail. I did make some adjustments to this track here. I didn't like the way I was going to approach the approach track, so I made a few changes to that. Just about altering the, uh, the curve of it. <clears throat> but this seems to be working pretty good, except for the, um, they tell me that the clock wheel, if it gets dusty or dirt, it could affect the uh, final resting point. But it's easy to adjust with this controller. And there we go. Okay. So it seems to be working pretty good. And go back to the head. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with it. It didn't give me no issues in putting it in. To see where it's going to stop. Yeah, right on the money. Like that. So that was pretty good. So let me turn the camera over to here. Now I did get my, um, my UW, the, the uh, UWT50 is working now, so I'm going to move this train. So uh, come around here. So I installed, I only got one main, oh, I said dead spot in the track. I don't have any feeders installed either. Going through the fog. But with this uh, controller, I can drop it down to a zero and crank it up with a th oop my, oop my thumb. Other way, push your thumb. Uh, 
I'm just gonna come around. Gonna head up, up the incline now. Hopefully uh, I don't have to replace that crossover yet, but it's um so it's tools around. So now we're gonna come down. So the the track stops right here at the bridge, and that's where I'll stop the train. I've installed uh, several more switch machines in those two turnouts there. And it's going to come around there. So, so far, let's crank her up. And she should come out right here. That's for the bridge, that's for the track stops. She'll come around here in a second or two. Slow her down, because I'm running out of track. It's how simple this UW, uh, UWT 50 controller is. I don't think my uh, NCE controller will ever get used anymore except for programming. Come over here and you see one. Don't mind his dizziness. Let's tilt this up a bit. There we go. Come to the end here. There's no more track. Is it for that one? Let's go over here and I'll show you something else. So I have my my switcher on this track here. A flick of a lever, and we push this. I should be able to uh, move right there, just like that. And we'll do this, and we're all good away. And another button here. And we'll move her to the other track. So that's that. So I'm going to pause the camera now and I'm going to show you and I'm going to uh, show you something else. Okay guys, if you can see this, I got 
This is um, a purchase that I made from a store called Larkspur in Merrickville, Ontario, back at their brown bag event. So Bubs031, he picked this package up for me. I bought it online. He then delivered it to uh, Chris at Go Via Go Home. Then Chris brought the package with him and we went to Hamhurst train show. And then he transferred the box to Trackside Mike to bring back to me. Well, then we found out that Chris from Whiskey Creek, who lives closer to me, was coming home in my area. So Mike transferred the box to Chris and Chris brought the box to me. So this is made a round trip. And so I show you guys. So I'm working on a, 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 a CN passenger train, uh, the 1954 Supercontinental uh, 54 paint scheme. So Bob's found all these at the store and I brought them all. Um, the steam generator unit, uh, if you can, I hope you can see this because I can't see the camera from here. And this one here is the base sleeper. Uh, this one here is the restaurant. Then we got the duplex sleeper. And this is the lightweight coach. And we got another sleeper. What else we got in here? Another lightweight coach. The cafe bar lounge. And the Baggy Express. I also got um, a couple more of these cars from uh, Otter Valley Railroad uh, oh, about a month ago. And they're down here. Uh, one of them was is uh, the Club Galley. And the last one, if I can find it quickly. Uh, well, here we are. And another green sleeper. So... I have nine cars to go with this train. I also got locomotives too. They're up on the shelf there. So that is, uh, these made a journey across Canada and the U.S. of A. And back into Dundas, Ontario. So they're here. Someday I'll have them on the track. I still need to have my track finished there. But that was uh, my purchase at Christmas time. And... Uh, and it's more than one. There's, I think I, I got nine of them. There's nine cars plus a steamer. I also got the other steamer car too. Well, not produce, this produces steam. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we're going to find out eventually. So that's my shopping trip. And I want to thank you guys for all my subscribers. Um... And another thing too, Monday night, 7 o'clock, Off Track Monday, on Mike's channel. Uh, check us out, 7 o'clock. We won't go in too much trouble, I promise. Maybe. We'll see. So, well, thanks guys. Uh, this is the Dundas Junction Mile Railroad. Over and out. Until the next update, hopefully I'll have a, a bridge done. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks guys. You have a really good night. I appreciate all your subscribers, everything else. Well, hi guys. Okay, I'm, I'm back in the, uh, what I call my workshop. Um, something else I got, uh, Chris from Go Via Go Home. While well, him and Mike are at the uh, Amherst train show, he came across um, some signs. And he went digging through the pile and he found one for me. I'm going to turn the camera around. It's a THMB uh, sign. You can see it by, by the um, my sticker wall. THMB. So I hung it yesterday. 
He also got me a keychain. And it's up here on the, I'm gonna show you that, my keychain collection. You may be amazed, uh, if you need a key ring, I got a couple. I lost track how many is in there, but it's a, it's quite a bit. But it's a keychain of a coupler. He got it from K, uh, KD. I think KD was next, right next door to the Otter Valley uh, booth. So he got one of those for me too. So I'll show you that and I'll turn the camera around and uh, show you that. So hang on for a minute. Let me pause this and turn around. So here's, here's the key ring right here. It's the shape of a coupler. Uh, I need a key ring. I have a couple here. I don't know. We'll feed the bears. I think Chris likes these lanyards. I got a couple of those too. Uh, my rubber ducky. My war museum. Globe. Keys. You name it. They're there. And then here's the, um, the sign that Chris got me. So that's pretty cool. I hope you haven't seen my sticker wall, but here's my sticker wall. I actually started moving the sticker wall to the other side of the room because they ran out of room here. Mini prints, wig wag, Boss Car Jerry, Tammy Ray is there, our good buddy Dwight Curley, our good friend Heath. Can't forget about Heath. Stormy Sky is there. Santa Fe Bob, Chris go go home. You know this guy here, this trackside Mike guy, he's here too. He's got another one down here. And this is our friend uh, Nissy. Repeat him. Yeah, so that's a good collection of, of stuff. This is my workshop uh, that I'm working on. Uh, eventually get it all running. I'll be, uh, I'll be airbrushing in here soon. So um, I'm waiting for uh, hook up the water lines to that. But this is uh, a little bit of a tour of my work zone that I'm working on. So yeah, but that's it, guys, uh, for this update. You know, probably haven't seen the up the uh, room from this area before, from this angle. There's a tour of my gate open. I should close up for you. You know, give you. You can see the bridge from this side. I did some painting on it yesterday, just because uh, it's plywood. I wanted to seal it a bit more. I can do some more work to it later. But yeah, so this is the layout from this side of the room. I haven't even turned off right now, but I think I'm making progress. And uh, yeah, more work to come though. But I'm happy so far. A few little twerk tweaks here and there, adjustments as you see it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite pleased. The track lay is getting easier as I go along. Um, I do like this Walters track. Everybody, once they get the hang of it, it goes down pretty good. And I'm not gluing my track. I strictly, I glue the cork. But I just nailing the track down with spikes and that way I can adjust the curves a bit just to tweak it to make the curve more smoother. But um, here's another view here. But yeah, but so far I'm happy with it. And uh, there's another view. You can see the turntable in the far distance there. And you see started the stickers on the furnace pipe now. But, well, that's it for now, guys. Uh, you have a good night. And uh, remember, uh, Monday night, 7 o'clock, check out uh, Trackside Mike and me and see what kind of trouble we get into.